Let's just dissect the skylight one more time, close up view. So you got the top retaining frame, which again has outside dimensions from the retainer to retainer, not really that useful. You also have the opening of the retainer from retainer to retainer, which allows you to make sure that the bubble is going to fit through it when replacing just the plastic. The retaining frame comes off. You've got these slotted screw holes that allow you to anchor into this portion of the skylight frame to assemble the top retaining frame to the base frame. You have two layers of plastic that are sealed and stacked together. And again, when replacing just the plastic, we measure from edge to edge, from edge to edge. And you've got your base frame, which again has your condensation gutter, which is, has the condensation on the inside and the outside. You have your rubber gasket that pushes down that the dome's sitting on. And again, gravity is typically forcing the water to one of the four corners where there's a little notch here that acts as a weeping system to let the water drain out onto the roof. And then when we flip that skylight upside down, we have what we call the mounting flange or max skylight frame dimension, which is from one side to the other side and from this side to this side to cap over the curb. So again, the mounting flange has to be bigger than the box that you're capping over. And then again on your curb, again, you have an inside curb dimension, which is what we call the rough opening, which is the opening of the frame, which is of the box, which is also identical to the hole that gets cut in the roof. And then you have the outside dimension of the curb, which is again, an inch and a half thick on each side of the two by sixes standing upright brings you to three inches wider on the outside of the curb. And then again, you have to use a little bit of imagination, but there normally would be flashing that would go alongside the curb and then under the roofing material. And on the inside, you typically have drywall or sheet rock that's, that's kind of aesthetically pleasing on the inside. Putting it all back together, we got the base frame. Although I probably screwed this up. You got the domes. You got the retaining cap. Again, firm pressure goes down when you're putting this back together. You know, you don't need to, to you know, have it so tight that the plastic is going to break, but just a firm, firm clamp down when you're putting your retaining screws back in.